Okay guys, welcome back. Today is May the 7th and I want to talk just real briefly about fighting foxtail. So we're on one of our prime bottom fields. Uh, this was the field last year where I showed you the bean, uh, the bean field and compared it to the neighbors, the super clean field. And so this field used to have, well, all of our bottoms at one time or another had huge problems with foxtail. And the way I think of foxtail is like a body being fevered and going through a sweat. Uh, so combating foxtail. Uh, one of the things we do that not a lot of people do is we use some kind of sorghum in the rotation that will combat foxtail, whether it be chopping sorghum or sedan in a cover crop situation, uh, sorghum fights foxtail. Uh, now the way you fight it is you need to have the base saturation component of calcium in your soils relatively high. Uh, that can be as simple as liming your ground or putting some pell lime on, uh, but keeping the portion of your soil base saturation, you know, the relative portion of that that is calcium, keeping that relatively high. Uh, the third thing is mechanical. Uh, basically, stay away from a disc. So, I don't know what it is about the disc that brings foxtail and, and uh, it causes compaction, but... Uh, here we are, May 7th, it's relatively dry, so there's very few weeds growing yet. But I'm coming in with my first pass with the field cultivator. And so this field here will never see a disc. Uh, we will field cultivate and probably walk away uh, and then come back and plant it. It is going to sorghum uh, for chopping, and so I will uh, field cultivate it, walk away, uh, come back a week or two later and, you know, plant the forage sorghum closer to the end of May. Uh, the final thing that I want to say about uh, combating foxtail in your organic fields is that the uh, working the ground too wet, that, that will bring foxtail. Uh, compaction, low calcium, or, or a mistake that you make uh, working the ground too moist. So you want to try and avoid working the ground moist and there are a bunch of ways, you know, that you can combat that. Uh, you know, obviously if you work something green down, you can work the soil a lot wetter. But uh, on a field like this where there's very little residue or green growing, you really don't want to work the ground too wet. So some thoughts on combating foxtail in the organic system and uh, if you have a question leave them in the comments down below thanks guys